And Colin Floyd, a newcomer, he'll be in car number 65. And Aiden Sullivan in car number two. So as we get off to a start, it is Eric Jensen, her brother, a little deeper in the field, Connor. Also, Devin Jensen competes in the Legends. And uh, the Jensen's won Pit Crew of the Year in both the Bandolero and in the Wednesday Legend. So it's Ari. She will be the first lap leader, but leaning on her bumper, the 22 of Newcomb. Then we have two cousins battling it out for third and fourth. We have Brody Monahan getting a little Woody Woodpecker action from Emma Monahan. The top four could fit in a Ziploc bag, and the leader is Ari Jensik, and she has been the class of the field. Now going out of line is Brody Monahan looking for leverage against Newcomb. So Isaiah having a good uh, run in his first voyage, making some noise deeper in the pack. That's Nicholas Hovey in the 16. Meanwhile, up at the front of the field, Four cars that can fit in a bird's nest. And doing the most tripping is the 71 of Ari Jensen. Leading the next group of cars, Reese Bogue in the 99. Now Emma Monahan pressuring your cousin, Brody Monahan. That is a fight for third as they swoop off the corner. Now coming out of line is Newcomb. Let's see how much he has. And he goes back in line as he uh, put his toe in the water, decided to pull it back, and we have the fearless foursome at the front of the field, led by Ari Jensen. She is being challenged, almost a staple to a back bumper. Isaiah Newcomb now makes a move to the outside. Let's see if this move connects. That pretty hand also goes to the outside. Isaiah is gone for the lead. And on lap number five, it is Isaiah Newcomb who moves in front. First race at the bull. Now the passing flag is given to Sullivan. And now Emma Monahan is able to get by the 71 of Aaron Jensen. So Emma has stomped her way into third. But what a move by Newcomb. He thought he was going to go outside. Came back behind Jensen. And then when he made the move, it was the keeper. Here comes Rudy Monahan. I think the Monahans are drafting off each other. This is a division, John, where you can draft and pick up speed. Yeah, it looks like a Daytona draft down the back stretch. Top three cars trying to pull away from that to number 71 of Harry Jensen. Up front, your leader is Isaiah Newcomb. And if Emma can win, she will lead the division in victories as she and Betty Harkin each had four during the regular year. So, Brody, he's looking for business on the outside. The top three drivers can fit in a watch pail, but right now the feast is being enjoyed by Isaiah Newcomb. Emma Monahan driving third in the number 78 car, trying to push Brody Monahan on by the 22 of Isaiah Newcomb. Those three cars are cranking down the back stretch out in turn number two. And let's see what Emma does, as right now she is crazy glued to the back bumper of the Brody Monahan car. It's Ari Jensen fourth. Reese Broke fifth, Anthony Bellavacco sixth, Nicholas Hubby seventh, Connor Jensen eighth, Madeline Hubby is ninth, Colin Foy tenth, and Aiden Sullivan is eleventh. The 31 of uh, Brody Monahan takes the outside route. He's trying to get around Isaiah Newcomb. Newcomb, a regular at Seacock Speedway, goes side by side for the lead. And it is Brody Monahan, and he is taking his cousin with him. As Emma trying to tap dance around that 22 of Isaiah Newcomb, and she is on the verge of moving into second, but it's Brody Monahan looking for his fourth win of the year as he is able to fireball his way across the line. Newcomb at a blink of an eye goes from first to third now, but still side by side to that second position. 78 of Emma Monahan's got herself some horsepower on the outside of Isaiah Newcomb. Now, when Emma has won races this year, her strong point was the inside groove. So she is showing today that she can handle the outside groove, trying to whiplash her way around the 22 of Newcomb. And a little bit of relief for Brody Monahan as he is leading by a pitchfork over Isaiah Newcomb. And right now, they have to bob and weave their way through some slower traffic. 
Yeah, that's Aiden Sullivan on the high side in that deuce. All the way up now in third spot and looking for more. That is Emma Monahan as she tries to size up that number 22 of Isaiah Newcomb. And she hangs it on the outside looking for some bite. But uh, the bite right now is for Isaiah and Brody Monahan in the spotlight. Trouble for Nicholas Hovey as he takes the agricultural detour through the grass. And right now, he is buried in the swamp on lap number 14. Yeah, Nick Covey needs to turn that car right to get out of the grass, but so far, unable to do it. And it looks like he might be stranded right between turns one and two. It's like driving on a sponge. And the yellow comes out on lap number 15. As Nicholas Hubby got into John Deere country here in the field, doing a good job in seventh. As we approach the final lap with Brody Monahan out in front, the Monahan family feud continues into turn number one as Brody is trying to pull away. Brody's got the advantage, but Emma's got the horsepower down the back stretch. Emma Monahan trying to close in on the 31 as they waltz around the fourth quarter for the final time. Here comes Brody, and Brody the bullet. Jared Newcomb will finish third. Reese Bull, what a job he did. His uh, speed ball experience is City Ford, Victory Lane. And here from our winner, Brody Monahan and our host of Victory Lane, Blaze Broder. Thank you, Matt Buckler. Here in Victory Lane, Brody Monahan, ladies and gentlemen, climbing out of the familiar number 31 here in the Bandolero series. We had to roll him back a little bit. Sean Monahan helping his young son, 10 year old talent. <laughs> there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause for Brody Monahan. Good job, buddy. Uh, that outside groove seemed to work well for you tonight. <laughs> did, 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 uh, did Dad tell you to run that outside groove? If you hammer down, if you get there. Um, no, I just really, I don't really know what I did, but I just, I just. Speak up. I... <laughs> You're speechless tonight, but what a great win for you, Brody. Thank you. All right, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, Brody Monahan. And Emma Monahan is standing right here. Emma, uh, good battle between you and your little cousin there. Uh, yeah, well, this is my last season in Bandos, so it didn't matter if I won. I want to see him succeed and do his best. So I just came for the fun, and I'm happy he got his win. Okay, what's your plans for 2019 here? Um, I'm planning on going into trucks, but I'm excited about it, so it's <laughs> worth it. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Thank you. All right, Emma Monahan and Isaiah Newcomb. Finishing third tonight, having some words with Dad. Isaiah, congratulations to you, buddy. Great third place finish. You had the lead for a while, but uh, uh, they kind of saddled you on the outside there, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Um, I like to thank everyone who came out here to watch me. Um, I like to thank Nick's pit stop. Uh, I like to thank my dad, uh, my mom, my brothers, and my sister. I like to thank Napa Auto Parts. Um, Kenny Rigo, my papa, um, all the people who worked on my car, and yeah. Good run for you tonight, Isaiah. Thank you. Okay, finishing third, a podium finish for Isaiah Newcomb. Guys, we'll go back up to you. Well, Isaiah Newcomb. 